हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम प्राची अ सेकेंड ईयर एम बी स्टूडेंट एट किंग जॉर्जेस मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी लखनऊ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू स्टडी बायोलॉजी इन मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई शुड टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ दैट आई हैव स्कोर थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी मार्क्स इन नीट ट्वेंटी एग्जाम सो आई थिंक आई एम द मोस्ट ट्रस्ट वर्दी पर्सन टू टेल यू हाउ टू स्कोर फुल मार्क्स इन बायोलॉजी एज यू ऑल नो दैट बायोलॉजी कम्प्राइज ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल मार्क्स इन नीट so it is the most important subject and you should try to gain more and more marks in this subject so that you can boost up your rank ncert is god for biology i have also told you in my previous videos that in my neat 2021 exam 100% questions were asked from ncert so i think you guys should know the importance of ncert and if i talk about myself i have read 15 to 20 times ncert of both 11th and 12th so i will recommend you to read ncert as many times as possible because you should know that how many times you read ncert is directly proportional to the marks you will gain in your neat exam now i will tell you about the most important chapters of biology that you have to focus more in zoology from 11th class animal kingdom is the most important chapter you have to learn every example of animal kingdom then biological classification then cell cycle and cell division it is the super important topic of biology because in my time seven questions were asked from this chapter and in every previous year question paper of neat a lot of questions were asked from this chapter then biomolecules human physiology from human physiology digestion and absorption breathing and exchange of gases chemical coordination and integration are the important ones then from 12th class principles of inheritance and variation molecular basis of inheritance and variation animal husbandry human reproduction and human health and disease are the important chapters in botany morphology of flowering plant anatomy of plant plant physiology Uh, in plant physiology mineral and nutrition is somehow less important then plant kingdom then ecology and biotechnology are the most important chapters so these are the most important chapters in neat exam but remember one thing that you don't have to read only these chapters you have to read each chapter of ncert but i have told you these chapter because you have to focus more on these chapters now i will tell you the most effective way to read biology so first of all attend your classes whether it is online or offline coaching classes then came home and read that chapter from ncert thoroughly try to learn and understand every line of ncert then practice mcqs from any book or module i will suggest you to practice it from ncert at your fingertips i have also used this book it is amazing book because it will help you to learn every line of ncert in very different ways so practice mcqs match your answers and know your mistakes then the most important thing read again that chapter from ncert because you will never understand by reading it only one time you have to read at least two times ncert by one go so that you can understand the chapter thoroughly you have to focus on diagrams also because they are very important and please don't read ncert from any other book or module even if they say that they cover whole ncert but please don't do because any other book or module can never replace ncert if i talk about making notes then i have never made notes of biology it is important for physics and chemistry but it is of no importance for biology because you have to learn every line of ncert again and again and visualize those diagram so it is of no importance and i think wastage of time that you copy those lines from ncert and then copy it on your notebook better to read ncert again and again i know few people will say that making notes is very important because it will help you to read ncert few days before exam but trust me when you read ncert 15 to 20 times then you will realize that making notes is of no importance 
you will start reading ncert much faster than your notes you will start revise whole syllabus much less time than your notes i know it is very hard to remember the whole syllabus in your mind so you can do few things to remember it like giving mock test and practicing mcqs after you read any chapter will help you to understand your mistakes and to know which topics you are forgetting again and again and if it is very hard to remember few lines then you can do one thing that you write those line on a small paper and paste it on your wall and read it every day it is the best method to read or remember anything that you forget many times i have also used this method for gaining full marks in biology reading ncert and practicing mcqs is not enough it is very important to improve your silly mistakes because it is of no importance if you remembering whole syllabus but you are doing a lot of silly mistakes you can use a trick to remove your silly mistake i have also used it write all your silly mistake on a paper and paste it on your wall and when you are going to give any mock test please read that paper again and again at least two to three times and then you give any mock test trust me it will help you to reduce your silly mistake a lot so these are few tricks that will help you to gain more and more marks so that's all for today guys if you like our channel please subscribe like share and comment on our videos until next time stay connected